John Petrucci. I'm here at Mesa Boogie hanging out with all this incredible gear and I'm going to talk about my live touring rig. So when I'm in the studio I like to bring in my different boogies, my different Mark amps um, and kind of do some experimenting. This time I decided to do a more compact version and the great thing is that Mesa Boogie has the tri-axis which can get all the tones from my C+, my Mark IV, and also great clean sounds as well. And it's MIDI programmable. It's a single rack unit. And I pair that up with the 290 power amp. And I get this really, really big, full, great sound. Um, I shrunk it down as far as speakers as well. I'm only using these 1x12 recto cabs, which sound absolutely enormous in, in a stupid way and that is really the basis for my sound tri-axis 290 and the uh, 1x12s of course I'm playing my majesty music man signature guitar which is also the basis for the sound of course all starts from the guitar as far as effects and other things that I'm using in between the tri-axis and the 290 is the Axe Effects. And I have the Axe Effects set up basically on one big program that's doing tons of different delays, choruses, detunes, harmonies, everything like that, reverbs, um, all instantly accessible without changing any presets. Um, so that is taking care of pretty much all of the effects that are stereo and in between the tri-axis and the power amp. Now I also have a little pedal drawer here because pedals are fun. And in this, these pedals come before the preamp. Usually there's certain pedals that you obviously want to do that with. Compressor, analog man juicer for clean sounds. These great boogie pedals for slamming the front for extra gain. The grid slammer and the tone burst. Phase 90, the Van Halen one. Phasers always sound better in the front. This is, of course, my signature Dreamscape pedal by TC Electronics. This sounds great in the effects loop or out of it. I'm using it in this rig before the amp because I use the uh, flanger and chorus settings that I want kind of distorted in the front. And then there's a, an old Boss Dimension C, which is, kind of has its cool, its own unique cool sound. And all of that is uh, being switched in and out. There's a Dunlop Rack Wah, so I don't have any signal running to my pedal board. And uh, that is basically the rig in a nutshell. I control the volume with an Ernie Ball volume pedal. This one's custom with diamond plate to match the diamond plate on my nice little boogie cabinets. Um, what I do live is I actually use the two outputs on the Axe Effects, one to go to the mic'd cabs that are going to the front of the house, the other set to go to these, which I use as footrests slash feedback producers slash thumpers that go right in front of me when I'm playing um, because I am using in-ear so it, it gives me some sound on stage and um, all of this is being controlled by this RJM MIDI controller and I have a TC polytune over here for um, for checking my tuning so let me go f through a few of the sounds um, clean sound is really beautiful it's uh, Let's see, it's Lee, no, Rhythm 1, Green. Um, the first two presets are a couple of different variations on Clean. Um, second couple are more of my crunch sounds. Uh, one of them is really big, it has, uses the chorusing on it. Let's see.
sound I would use more on kind of heavy crunch stuff. Um. <laughs> Of course, you can access the different effects. Like I said, the front ones, the Dreamscape flange. And there's a couple of lead presets at the end with different delay times. By the way, uh, on the tri-axis, this is I'm right now using lead two red. So it's really kind of out front, bold, aggressive sound. How to play the wah there. By the way, boogie pedals, um, they're accessible as well using the overdrive. So if I have an overdriven sound, let's see, a little delay, a little boogie pedal. Sounds good to me. Anyway, there's uh, my rig in a nutshell. Tri-axis, 290, 1x12s. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you.